Hello YouTube, this is Crosstech and welcome to a new update for the alpha build of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. This update is version 1.2.12 and it is a small quality of life update that is addressing some of the important issues that arise uh, with alpha 1.2.10. This new build includes an improved method of generating speech for radio communications. This method utilizes cloud computing and sophisticated real-time models uh, to better simulate real speech. This is a feature that the Microsoft Flight Simulator team is exploring for future application. But the audio team does need actual usage data uh, for it in order to determine if it actually is viable. So please do try it out and uh, yeah, feel free to let the team know what you think about it. Of course, this is if you happen to be a alpha tester. If not, I, I do hope that you become one pretty soon. Now, there was a icing issue on the Airbus A320. This should be now fixed. The instruments should no longer be failing, uh, reducing airspeed to zero when encountering icing. They also made some improvements to the SDK, a couple of updates and fixes for the third-party partner developers. Now, this is uh, quite important for alpha testers. If you already have uh, version 1.2.10 and had no major installation issues, please just check for updates in the Microsoft Store and update your build to the new one, uh, 1.2.12. If you are on a version prior to 1.2.10, uh, they recommend you to uninstall and reinstall the alpha. For uninstallation and reinstallation guidelines and troubleshooting, check out the news and announcements section on the alpha forums. We do have a couple of known issues on this new version, so consider yourself warned. Some jetways are misplaced at airports, black stripes can be visible on the side of different world tiles, trees sometimes overlap with buildings, there are missing buildings in Chicago O'Hare Airport, there are missing buildings in Frankfurt um, Main Airport, frames tend to drop after the end of a loading sequence, frames tend to drop during intro cutscenes, there are possible frame drops when moving the camera around the plane. Objectives can fail to show any inputs if they were previously cleared by the user under controls. Panels previously undocked from the toolbar can appear enabled on any activity. There are issues with the text-to-speech voice on the takeoff flight training when using the female voice. The text-to-speech voice during the takeoff flight training audio and subtitles are mismatched. Some debug subtitled text is still displayed with uh, text-to-speech audio on the landing flight training. Planes can teleport 900 to 5000 feet above when returning to free flight from any landing challenge. The apply the brakes objective fails to be completed after the player applies the brakes during that landing tutorial. Objectives can break using the despawn respawn at the start of the takeoff flight training. The TBM 930 engine shuts down after a teleport. Intermittent weather bug can sometimes create unrealistic gusting winds, more likely to hit this when the user changes settings mid-season. Human main buildings are not spawning, autopilot can become inoperable uh, when switching between vertical speed and altitude in all aircraft. Switching instructor models mid-flight in tutorials will not switch the instructor voices. If you are upgrading from a version older than 1.2.5, you will need to fully uninstall before installing this update. And uh, yeah, actually it says on the top uh, anything prior 1.2.10, so I don't remember how many versions were prior 0.10. There are potential installation and update issues if the install path contains extended Unicode characters. Hmm. So for now, uh, they recommend installation paths containing standard Roman alphabet letters and numbers only. Signing out of the Xbox Live during a gameplay session can cause issues signing back into that gameplay session. And that is pretty much it for this. And that is pretty much it for this update. Again, I do hope that all of you guys that are currently testing the alpha are having a lot of fun and, uh, well, you guys are helping the Microsoft Flight Simulator team develop a great simulator. For those of you who don't still have access, uh, soon we will be receiving news regarding how uh, alpha access will be granted in the future, uh, quite soon, hopefully, so stay tuned. Anyway, there is a very interesting video coming up ahead, uh, so yeah, stick around. Happy flying, cross check out.